trees. A tree is a data structure which is going to represent data elements in a hierarchical manner. So let's look at how a tree looks using an example. Let's say there is a company. Now the company has a CEO. Under the CEO, there are many managers who work. So under the CEO, we are going to have maybe manager one, which is going to be on who is going to work under the CEO. Maybe we have manager two. Now under each manager, we are going to have employees who work. So under manager one, let's say employee A is going to work and employee B is going to work. Maybe under manager 2, we have employee C and employee D. This kind of hierarchical structure, which we can usually see in a corporate setup, this kind of hierarchy can be represented using a tree, as we have done here. So, we have a CEO. Under the CEO, we have managers. Under each manager, we have employees. This kind of a structure is called a tree. So let's formally define this structure. A tree is a data structure which stores elements in a hierarchical fashion. or manner. So it is a data structure which is going to store elements in a hierarchical manner. So now that we have defined what a tree is, let's look at the terminology associated with trees using another example. So let's say I have this tree. So first, let's look at what a node is. Nodes of a tree are going to be the data elements of a tree. So in this example, the nodes are represented by circles, which are storing the data elements. So the nodes are going to be A, B, C, D, and E. The nodes in this example was CEO, Manager 1, Manager 2, Employee A, Employee B, Employee C, Employee D. So what is a node? A node is going to be the data elements of a tree. So in this example, we have A, B, C, D and E as our nodes. So now that we have defined what a node is, let's see what an edge is. An edge is going to be a link between two nodes of a tree. As you can see, A branches out to B and C. And so, A is having a link between B and C. This link is known as edge. So, an edge is going to be a link between two nodes. So, the edges here could be the edge from A to B, the edge from B to D, or the edge from A to C or B to E. The lines in a tree are known as edges. Now that we have seen what a node and an edge is, let's look at what a child is. If a particular node branches out to subsequent nodes, the subsequent nodes are known as the children of that node. So A branches out to B and C. So B and C become the children of A. B branches out to D and E. So D and E become the children of B. So a child node, I'll give the example here. B and C are the children of A. 
So that is what a child node is. So once we have seen child node, it will be easy to understand what a parent node is. If B and C are going to be the children of A, it means A is going to be the parent of B and C. If a particular node is going to branch out to subsequent nodes, that node is going to be the parent of the subsequent nodes. So B branches out to D and D, so B will be the parent of D and E. Now let's look at what an internal node is. An internal node is going to be a node which has at least one child. So, at least one child. And an external node is going to be a node which has no children. So, let's look at that in our tree. A has two children, so it's an internal node. B has two children, so it's an internal node. D has no children, it's an external node. E and C also have no children, so it's an external node. So, which nodes in this example were internal? The internal nodes were A and B. Which nodes in this example were external? D, E and C. An external node is also referred to as a leaf node. So when I say C is a leaf node, I mean that C is an external node and that means C has no children. Another term we must familiarize ourselves with is what is a root. A root is going to be the starting node of a tree. So where does this tree start? We are going to start branching out from A. A will branch out to B and C, B will in turn branch out to D and D. But where are we starting the branching out? We are starting at A. In this example, we started branching out from the CEO. So the root is going to be the starting node which is at the highest level. And it is important to note that this is going to be the only node in a tree which does not have a parent. So every other node will have a parent except the root node because that is going to be the starting node. In this example, our root node is going to be A. So this is going to be just the basic terminology of what a tree is. And with that, we come to the end of a basic introduction to the data structure trees.